today we will learn about types of diseases and its modes of spread in the previous video we learned that disease can be written as dis plus ease and from this we can take meaning as lack of rest for example cold and cough elephantiasis and many more we can divide diseases into different groups one way of this is that we classify different diseases on the basis of duration of disease some diseases like cold cough typhoid occur suddenly and are of short duration such diseases are called acute diseases acute diseases do not harm our health much some diseases like tuberculosis elephantiasis develop after a long time and are of long duration or lifelong such diseases are called chronic diseases since the disease is for a long time that's why they cause specific harm to our health therefore the patient feels fatigue and his weight is reduced diseases can also be classified on the basis of their ability to spread let us understand this in the previous video we learned that the immediate cause of disease can be infectious which include microorganisms or can be non infectious which does not include microorganisms some diseases like cough and cold can spread in a community because its cause is microorganism that can spread from one body to other body by any medium such disease is called infectious disease for example diseases like cold and cough influenza aids and many more are caused due to virus typhoid cholera tuberculosis and many more are caused due to bacteria common skin disease such as ringworm is caused due to fungi malaria and kala azar are caused due to protozoa elephantiasis is caused by worms the microorganism that cause the disease is called a pathogen of that disease for example disease cholera is caused by pathogen vibrio cholerae and typhoid is caused by salmonella typhi disease which are not caused by microorganisms and their causes are different are called non infectious diseases these diseases do not spread in the community for example cancer is caused due to genetic abnormalities obesity and modern lifestyle now let us understand the modes of spread of disease in detail many microbial agents spread from one patient to another healthy person by different modes therefore infectious disease are also called communicable disease when a person sneezes or coughs some droplets come out of their mouth these droplets contain microorganisms in such a situation if any other person is near the patient then the droplets enter in his body in this way these microorganisms infect other healthy person microorganisms of some diseases are spread through air microorganisms that spread through air are called airborne microorganisms and the disease that spread through air are called airborne diseases so if person is suffering from airborne disease he should not go in crowded places similarly some diseases spread through water therefore these are called waterborne diseases if the excreta of a person suffering from cholera is mixed with drinking water and if the other person drinks contaminated water then the microorganism 
enters in the healthy person and he also suffers from the disease such diseases are caused due to unavailability of clean water some diseases transfers from one partner to another through sexual contact such diseases are called sexually transmitted diseases these diseases do not spread through casual physical contact aids also spread if blood of aids patient is transferred to a healthy person and a syringe applied to aids patient is applied to a healthy person therefore along with sexual contact aids also spread through blood to blood contact as well as aids also spreads during pregnancy from mother to baby and through breast feeding some diseases are spread through other animals for example malaria elephantiasis and dengue fever is spread through mosquito bite and rabies is spread through dog bite thus these animals act as intermediates that's why these are called vectors in this way different diseases spread through different modes so today we have learned about types of diseases and its modes of spread spread